What's up, Juice Heads? My name is Dola, and this is Gone Home. As you can probably tell, my voice is still weird. I feel like it's almost weirder than yesterday. Just, um, yeah, I don't know. I thought I was going to be better by today, but it seems like my, my illness is just, like, evolving. Um, like, yesterday it was more, um, <clears throat> I would have a tickle in my throat and cough every once in a while. And today I'm more like, oh, I've got phlegm in my throat. So, um. Uh, I'm a little bit scared at the, I mean, a little bit less scared at the moment. I'm not really sure why, to be honest. Um, I, I just, maybe because I'm staring directly into my, my desk light because I'm so nervous. Um, yeah, man, last episode was rough. I was, I was so scared. I, something, like, you can't tell how scary it is when you're just watching a little video of it, but, like, playing it full screen. Oh. That will get me every time though. But um playing full screen is really quite intense. Um doesn't feel good. But you guys did assure me not to not to be concerned about jump scares. Just just play the damn game. So that's what I'm gonna do. Um Man, I feel like my voice sounds really weird right now. <laughs> uh oh, paper. Pioneer laser dick compact display player. Remote with backlight, double-sided play, headphone out, display on off. Also, if I go silent for a second, it's because I've muted my mic to sneeze. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> I've been pretty sneezy today. <laughs> Still stuffed up, too, as, I mean, obviously you can hear. Um, digital CLVs, last frame memory, okay. You say that a jack of all trades is a master of none. I have to disagree. Mastery is not a question of specialization, but sureness of purpose and dedication to craft. If you happen to be on the market for a combination LD CD player, you'll be glad to know that Pioneer seems to share this particular. Whoop. Someone stopped writing there. Maybe they got murdered. Um, you can do better. Back to basics. Sent back in time to Dallas 1963 again? What? What if JFK wasn't JFK? Huh? I don't know. Early space flight to Utopia, advanced technology, end World War II early, time stream too different. JFK president, US and USSR coalition. Chinese, Japanese, Lebanese. Paradox results in JFK death. Paradox results in JFK death being desired outcome. Record. Magic bullet theory long. Okay, so remember that thing where, um, <coughs> remember that magazine where it was, like, the writer's magazine? I bet that whoever owned that magazine has also been writing this. It sounds like they're writing down ideas for books. Intercept LHO. Hey, why not disrupt motor cube minutes? Brassy null steamrolled. Alright, I'm not too into history, so I don't know what they're talking about, but, uh, I can tell you this is one sexy glass. And it looks even sexier on the ground. Did I break it? No. Man, I wanted it to smash really badly. Oh, what's this? John Russell opened his eyes and he saw them, the, gra the stars. Twinkling as if he were lying on the grass in his family's yard in Massachusetts, even though that place was a million miles away. No, he blinked the sleep from his eyes, looking through the carbon-reinforced safety glass of the space station Archimedes. Yes, he was a long way from home, but the future needed him. John Russell's head swam. He felt incredibly drunk, despite not having touched a drop in hours. He, I, I for some reason, I'm, these are way too tiny. I'm reading them as periods, so I'm sorry. I hate it when people do that, so <laughs> I'm sure that you're annoyed. Um, he vomited onto his feet, his bare feet. He stared for a moment. Something got crossed out here. Oh, it was a typo process with three S's. Processing is th in the... He stared for a moment, processing his sick flecked toenails, scanning up his bare shins, bare knees. He was completely naked. He looked up and met the eyes of a gorgeous blonde woman wearing a tight polymer fiber tunic. The fabric that strained at the seams to contain her generous bosom. <laughs> her generous bosom. It's, it's, it's a boob, but like, you know, it gives to charity every once in a while. <laughs> was emblazoned with the, fra with the phrase... Matter transference operator. Then he passed out. Oh, they forgot to cross out that typo. Okay, I'm a little bit confused about what's going on in this story. John Russell had crossed the gap. Lots of typos in this one. 
Um, the gap in time. Only messages had passed before, but now... Damn, man. <laughs> they needed him, now more than ever. Changing the past was no longer good enough. The instructions from the council had been clear. What to procure, what to construct from it, how to assemble it. So he made the machine, how to transport... So he made the machine, how to transport him bodily across time. And now he stood there on the bridge of the starship Archimedes, command of the vessel. Because only he who had saved the president's life twice before could helm the ne naive, I guess, naive crew to their destiny, the fate of a gal the galaxy. Okay, so that one had a bunch of typos in it. No wonder it was turned, I mean, thrown away. I would throw that away too. It's a uh, beautiful painting there. <coughs> Sorry. Let me cough louder into the microphone for you. I know you love it. Is there anything in here I can read? No. What about in here? That. Oh, what's this? Parents. Green. Oh. Come on. Stop scaring me. I don't like it. I couldn't pick that one up for some reason. Although it looks like it was like a, a notepad. <coughs> Can we open this? No? Alright, I'm gonna throw it away then. Oh! What? Secrets? What? <gasps> Letter. Terrence Greenbrier. One Arbor Hill. Oh man, let's see if I can make out this handwriting. Dear Terrence, I write on what I hope and imagine is a joyous occasion. News reaches me that you are newly married to a wonderful young woman. I have had more than a little time to consider my past and my family, and my thoughts have often lingered on your development and welfare in the ten years since we last met. Your marriage gives me much reassurance in this regard. You are always welcome on Arbor Hill, something torn out. I will understand something, of course. If you fail, you... What? Something except this invitation. Yours very sincerely, Oscar something. Wow, really not a fan. Oh, okay, no, that was page one. I was just... I noticed that there was a first page, and I didn't realize that that was the beginning thing. Okay, I'm getting back into my, uh, scared mode. You know I said I was not scared? Yeah, I'm a little bit more scared now. Killing of JFK, a theory you've seen the movie discover. Truth. A superb work of speculation. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, blah, blah. Thrilling theory. Important look at the new work. Okay, so someone's definitely, uh, writing about JFK. It seems like. Wait, what is this? I oh, that's the glass that I threw on the ground. When you get confused about things that you messed up. Um, okay, nothing here. Oh. Electrical inspection form. Uh, uh just the electrical. Okay. Um, yes. Does I'm clear. Wiring in house is technically up to safety and amperage requirements. However, multiple layers of wiring have been added into structure over the last 100 years. The system is frequently unpredictable. Lights blink out for no clear reason. Pressure on floorboards and door frames disrupts circuits wired directly behind the surface. Properly reworking the electrical system would be highly destructive to the walls, floor, and fixtures of the structure. After discussion, issues will not be addressed. Okay, Black Cat Electrical Co. Okay, yeah, now I'm scared again. Yeah, I don't know what happened, but, uh, now I'm definitely scared again. Can we, uh, read any of this stuff? No. Doesn't look like it. Alright, well, that was a, uh, a quick moment of solace before... Now... No, I don't really want that on, actually. No, nope, no thanks. It's not really a pleasant... It's not really a comforting noise. <coughs> well, my voice is just... It's lost. Okay, I don't think we've had any clue on what the, um, number for this fork. Fork this spoon, I don't need this. Anyway. <laughs> I feel like if anywhere, the safe number would be under there, but it looks like it's not. Oh my god. I'm really not feeling good anymore, guys. I'm such a wimp. This is why I don't play, like, amnesia and stuff. It's just not, not my thing. 
Why does this house have to be so big? I'm already sweating. <laughs> Should we find the door? No. Okay. Any books on the shelf that I can read? That one looks different, but apparently I still can't read it. Okay. This is a sketchy room. What? I don't. I don't understand. What kind of room is this? Open the folder. Ooh. 0451. Look, that's gonna be our, uh, that's gonna be our, uh, our code for over there. How much you wanna bet? Dear Terrence, David asked me to write you regarding the reviews you've been submitting the last few months. Frankly, they're becoming more trouble than they're worth from an editing standpoint. There's a word limit. It's your job to stay under it, not mine to cut. Okay, so it looks like it's the dad. The dad was Terrence, right? I think so. Um, who's the writer? Uh, there's a word limit. It's your job to stay under it, not mine to cut back to it. Even then, it's becoming harder and harder to weed out the tangents and non-sequiturs. Sequiturs. Yeah, wow, nice editing job there. Way to spell sequiturs wrong. From the usable copy without heavy rewrites. The readers of Home Theater Aficionado want to hear about the quality and value of the hardware, not ruminations on your childhood. <laughs> if it were up to me, I wouldn't be writing this letter. I'd just be cutting you loose. There's tons of guys half your age who would take half your rate to write stuff I could actually use. But David's known you for a long time, and he's the boss, so I'm giving you one more shot on his say-so. You should write him a nice note thanking him for his patience and generosity. Look through your old stuff and start submitting reviews like that again. Then everybody will be happy. Brent Kirkwood. Alright, 0451, we'll remember that. What's this? Stranger on my roof. Seriously? Oh, okay. Never mind. It's not. It's not. It's not a horror thing. Well, number one best-selling advice book for parents of teens. The teen years are fraught with change of them. Ah, don't affect your teen. Your teen's turbulent years. The cold's insides into your teen's behavior. Okay. All right. Still feeling a bit creeped out by this whole room situation. I'm not really. Ooh, what's in here? Grab lid. Anything? No. What is this? Grab dad's second book. Ooh, the accidental pariah. JFK. Message from our future saved the president's life once, but within the next 24 hours, there will be another attempt, and the lines of communication are down. anything <gasps> oh no dad that's gross I don't want to look at that <laughs> I pick it up to look again <laughs> it's just too in it's it's for educational per not educational um what's the word I'm looking for investigational purposes there you go throw that away I don't know where that other one went. It just kind of disappeared. Alright. Ooh. I don't like being this close to the window. Tissue box. Oh. I need tissues. Can I turn on this light? Yeah, I'm just I'm just gonna turn on lights as I go, you know? It's a nice, nice coaster there. Nice uh flowery thing. Oh. Sexy pen. What is this? Fresh. True stories. I was a teenage drag queen. Same. <laughs> jokes. Jokes. I don't know whose magazine that is. Wow, I really need a cough. Okay, I'm done coughing. There's a mean tickle in my throat. Alright. 0451 was it? I think so. Oh, four. If it's not, you guys are going to hate me because I promised that I would remember it. <laughs> We can go down to that one. And one. Yes, yes. Nice. Alright. Read document. Dear Mr. Mason. Mr. Mason. Please find and close your original document and a typed copy for your records. The notarized copy has been filed at our officer offices. Thank you for entrusting our firm with this important matter. Attorneys at law. Okay. 
will and testament. I, Oscar Mason, possessing full competence of mind and memory after full survey of value items to my name, do hereby declare this document to be my last will and testament. Sorry that there's so much reading in this game, guys. Um, yeah, I, I hope that you don't mind. That's just kind of how it is. Um, yeah, I just, just wanted to put that out there. I hope that I'm an okay reader for you, even though my voice is super sketched today, and, um, I've been reading commas as periods, and it's breaking my heart as, as much as yours. The following shall hold true upon my passing. I'm also trying to read quickly so that it kind of gets through it. Um, I declare that I am a lifelong resident of Boone County, that I am unmarried and have no children. I declare that I have no outstanding de debts to my name, to any creditors living or dead. Uh, I do hereby bequeath every item of value, value of which I may die possessed, including the dwelling and surrounding acres located at Arbor Hill, as well as any and all my personal property and money accounts to my nephew, Terrence L. Greenbrier Jr. Okay, so this is this guy's uncle. This is my, well, my, the, the character who I'm playing's great uncle, I believe? No. No. Yeah. Great uncle. The events that said Terrence L. Greenbrier Jr. should predecease me, then, and in such event, the bequeast, the bequest, blah, to him shall fall in the same as bequeathed, wow, that word is not really fun to pronounce, actually, to his children as ordered by age and competence as stewards of the estate. Subscribe my name, okay, oh, will and testament. I think this should just be a re reading, right? Yeah. Okay, that's just the handwritten, so I'll have to read that again. Alrighty. Did we try opening this? Yeah, we did. Doesn't work. Okay, back into the hallway. Carefully. Carefully. What's this? Oh my god. Who's making noise? Hey, are you the new girl, Sam? I'm Tommy, I'm at the back behind you. Wave if you get this and write back. Ooh, no, it's passing down. What's that noise? I think it's a radio. Oh, I heard that last episode and I freaked out. Hi, Tommy. Yes, I'm Samantha and yes, I'm new. What's up? I just thought since you're new, maybe you could use a friend. I don't have a lot of friends. Yeah, it's because you spell friend wrong. Maybe if you could spell friend right, you would have more friends. I'm sorry. Either, and so I thought I'd ask you something if you don't mind. Do you mind? Yes, no, no. No, I don't mind. What did you want to ask? Was it just your uncle who went psycho, or does it run in the family? Oh, man. Okay, so apparently our uncle went psycho. Wow. Turn off the TV when you leave. Come on. If you're gonna leave the lights off, at least leave the TV off, too. I am not a fan. I will grab this candle. Oh my god, I thought that was a person at the end of the hallway. Guys, I'm losing my mind. <laughs> Probably gonna end this episode soonish. Oh. Keep going. I feel like we haven't accomplished anything. Well, what is there really to accomplish in this game? David Warning. Oh, this is the um the thing that guy that guy wrote for. Hi Terry, enclose oh Terry, Terry, Terrence, yeah. Enclose please find a pioneer seeing the unit with remote cables. We need half page review for the October issue, so that gives you about two weeks to get us the copy for edit. Standard stuff like you gave us on the other one. It's a combi player, so check its CD playback with a few discs as well as the laser disc, and they want us to definitely hit the single to no signal to noise ratio and toss link stuff for high end buyers. Looking forward to your take on it. Enjoy the unit. Ooh, shipping label. Wow, nope. Nope. Don't like the lightning. No, thank you. Notify center of new address. Okay, so you wrote it to the wrong, the wrong address, it looks like. Freaking out. And I'm like seeing this mess. I'm like, what a messy room. And then I'm like, whoa, who threw those candles on the ground? Oh, wait. Um, so the can is right. Yum. Plate. Nice plate. Cool. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna... Severe weather warning. Yeah, no crap. Turning that off because it's scaring me a lot. Okay, let me open this. 
anything VHS okay. X-Files season one all right the dark crystal 2001 oh Oh, this is just creepy. I feel like we're just creeping now. Um, oh, <laughs> it's a toggle, so I'm still crouching. Oh man, okay. Sam thought this might help making friends. <laughs> making friends even when you're what? Making friends. Uh, never worry again about having friends to spend time with, even when you're shy. Okay, so you know that feeling. Oh. Where the first moment you see someone, it's like they have a I turn big on gold star around them, didn't... and you have to get to know them. Yes. Well, no, not really. there's this girl. I think oh, she's yeah, a I do, actually. She's usually dressed kind of punk, but sometimes I see her in this, like, army uniform, and she's always drawing mm -hmm. in this notebook, looking so intense. Yeah. I had no idea how I would ever, like, have an excuse right. to talk to her. Until I noticed she and her friends hang out and play Street Fighter at the 7-Eleven ah. every day after school. Nice. Wow, I don't want to see things about haunting. Sorry, I hit my microphone. That's not even cool. I think I'm going to end the episode here, guys. I'm going to record another one right now, though. Might as well. Um, hope you did enjoy. Uh, oh, I was still crouched. Whoops. <laughs> Thought I just, just just shrunk a few inches. Um, don't forget to leave a like if you did enjoy, and um, feel free to leave a comment as well. And uh, if you haven't yet and you like what you see, feel free to subscribe as well. That would be pretty cool. I'd love you to be a juice head because juice heads are the bomb. So uh, I'll talk to you all later. Bye.